Hello, welcome to DIY freeze dry. Today's video is all about freeze drying in candy mode. I have shown candy mode in some of my previous videos, but for any of you who are new here, this is gonna be the video for you if you're wanting to learn how to use your Harvest Right freeze dryer to make amazing freeze dried candy. I want to thank all of my new subscribers for joining me on my channel here. It has been so fun. I am on my way to my first goal of 500 subscribers. I am like getting very close. And remember, when I hit that 500 subscriber goal, I'm gonna do a fun, epic run in my freeze dryer. I haven't decided what that's gonna be, but it's gonna be something crazy just for fun. So if you wanna see that, hit that subscribe button and help me get to my 500 goal. I would so appreciate it. Let's get started. Okay, I have powered on my machine. It is powering up. It is already in candy mode, but I'm going to show you how to get to candy mode. You are going to hit the customize button. And what you are looking for is the dry temp. If it's on its standard settings, it will be lower. Usually I think it's at 125. So you're gonna to wanna to increase this temperature. And once you hit high or candy high temperature mode, you know you are ready for candy. I've been doing mine at 145 degrees. My drying time I have set for five hours. I've had pretty good success with my candy at the five hour mark. That just tells you how long the freeze dryer is gonna run for. I am going to hit save and start. We are gonna wait the 15 minutes and then there's a one more step to do after this. When you freeze dry in candy mode, it skips the, completely skips the freezing process and it goes straight to drying. It increases the temperature in there really high and that is what helps the sugars and the candies crystallize and expand and give you that fun, airy, crunchy texture that we love in the freeze dried candy. While we are waiting for the machine to do its cool down period, I'm going to show you what we are freeze drying today in candy mode. I keep getting people asking me to freeze dry big hunks, but I don't know about where you live. In Alaska, I cannot find big hunks anywhere, at least in grocery stores. So I might need to start checking like gas stations and stuff or just order it online like I'm in the 21st century. <laughs> but. I did want to try Charleston shoes and these mini size are going to be perfect. So we are going to do those. And then just for funsies, I wanted to see how this caramel popcorn would freeze dry. I've done caramels before in the freeze dryer and it puffs up beautifully light and airy. I know these popcorns don't have much caramel on them, but I wanted to see if there was any kind of change to them in the freeze dryer. So we're gonna put these on one of the trays and just see what happens. Just as a reminder, chocolate itself does not freeze dry. It just melts in the freeze dryer. But when chocolate is has some type of filling that does freeze dry nicely, it expands and becomes these beautiful little chocolatey treats so these are gonna be good I hope I feel like I've seen these done before but I don't know for sure I'm excited to see how they turn out in the freeze dryer okay I'm wondering if it's becoming spring where you live I am in Alaska near Anchorage and we are having what is called fall spring I'm sure other parts of the country might experience this too but this last week we have been in the mid 30s and the snow is just melting like crazy the roads are so like messy and sloshy but it has been so nice to feel that little bit of warmth i know mid 30s does not sound warm but for here it's it's warm <laughs> so but i looked in the forecast next week while we're on spring break 20s and i think i saw snow in the forecast so that's kind of a bummer all my friends, because we're new to Alaska, have told me, I know it seems like spring is coming, but don't get too excited. This is fall spring. It's going to snow again. It's going to get cold again. 
once we hit April, May-ish, we should be on the up and up. One good thing is that our sunlight has totally returned and that has been amazing. We wake up and the sun is shining and the sun sets at a decent time in the evening. The darkness is gone. So that boosts everybody's spirits around here. So we just gotta get over the hump of the coldness and then we are good to go. And then we're gonna have sunshine like all day and all night. And that's another fun <laughs> adventure. Okay. Um, we still got four minutes left, so I will be back when this is ready. All right, you see this high temperature mode candy process little toggle button popped up after our 15 minutes was done. So we are going to hit on. We are going to hit on. There we go. Make sure this is turned on in order for your machine to go into candy mode. And close the drain valve. I'm going to close the valve right here. Ready to go. Now we can load up our goodies. I have no idea what this popcorn is going to do. So um, that should be fun. Okay, we are gonna hit continue. It's asking to warm the trays. I just hit start. And it's gonna warm the trays to 145 degrees. You can increase this time if you want to. I don't know if it's necessary. I just do it and we're good to go. Once the trays are warmed up, it's gonna turn on the vacuum pump and start our drying process. And that's it, that's all we gotta do. This will be ready in about five hours. I will bring you along when it's time to take these guys out and see how everything turned out. See you later. Okay, hello, welcome back. It is much later in the day than I anticipated getting these out of the freeze dryer, but that's okay. We ended up having some plans come up and I am now getting to the freeze dryer. So it looks like they have been in here for six and a half hours. I am going to open my drain valve right back here. And I'm going to hit defrost. And we will hear our machine shut down. These look so good. How funny did those turn out? My caramel corn does not look <laughs> any different so i guess that one was kind of a bust but oh well okay so i'm now just going to shut my door hit continue and it's going to start the defrost process which takes two hours it defrosts the chamber inside the machine and then we can power down our unit our Treats look delicious. I am super excited to see how these taste. I am going to do my taste test next. And I normally have my kids join in on the taste test, but they are asleep. I might wait to edit this video until the morning so that I can have them do a taste test because it's just so much fun to do the taste test with the kiddos. So on that note, I am going to just package these up into a mylar bag, seal them up and keep some aside for our taste test. Oh, but you know what? I can taste the caramel corn because I mean, that didn't really do much. Hold on. I don't mind waiting for the Charleston chews, but I want to know how this caramel corn tastes. So. Tastes exactly like caramel corn. 
that did not work as I had planned, but that's okay. I'm all about experimenting, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work, but it still tastes delicious. So, I mean, we can still totally just eat it as yummy caramel corn, but it did not freeze dry. That's okay. I'm going to wait on the Charleston shoes for tomorrow for the taste test with the kids and we will go from there. Have a good night. Even though when you see this, it's all going to be together. Whatever. Bye. What time is it, kids? Okay, that was not necessary. Today you guys get to taste test a freeze-dried Charleston chew. Give me a very small one. Are you okay? One small. One, two, three, go. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. I want to see your thumbs up or thumbs down. I did not taste. Oh, uh, so good. I did not taste They all loved it. Here we go. That is so good. Totally just melts in your mouth. You get the little hint of chocolate on the outside. And the inside just turns into this puffy, airy deliciousness. These are so, 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 so good. <laughs> All right, little man's gonna cooperate now and do his taste test. One, two, three, go. No, oh, stay here. <laughs> what do you think? Good, yay! I don't know. Oh, that's a I don't know? Uh huh. Okay. Final answer thumbs up. Okay, okay. I want to remind everybody that I am offering a box of the month of free shred candies on my website, which I will put a little note of the site here and I will have it in the description down below. I offer three different free shred candies each month that will rotate on a monthly basis. And so you can check out my website now to see what I am offering there. Shipping is included in your price. It's a fun way to be able to try a variety of yummy freeze dried treats. I also meant to mention before that I had to change my oil on my machine when I started it. It gave me a little pop-up earlier today that said I needed, it was time to change the oil. So I did that and I even watched my how to change oil video to remind myself how to do it. So if you are curious about how you change your oil, I will link that video here on this um, page here too so that you can learn how to change the oil. It is very easy and something that anybody could do. Okay, I think that is everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'm happy to answer them. If you have any suggestions of things that you wanna see freeze dried, any favorite candies that you might want me to try or foods, let me know. I am always taking suggestions. I love that. Hit that subscribe button so you can see all the things that I'm freeze drying over here. And sorry for that interruption. Um, anyway, I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.